Good evening. Today I want to talk a few minutes about shunk ride. Shunk ride is, uh, is very rare in the United States or any other developed countries, but it is very common in many developing nations. So it's very hard to say what is the actual incidence of this infection by Haemophilus ducreae because many people, actually many laboratories, they don't test for this organism. Many STD clinics, primary care clinics, they don't even offer the testing for this organism. So we don't know the exact incidence of this problem. Hemophilus ducreae is the causative organism. It is a small, fastidious, gram-negative rod that requires an enriched growth medium containing hemen. And when examined by Gram stain, the organisms for culture, they actually go in like long parallel strands. There is a name for this. The description is called school of fish or railroad track appearance. That's an important word to remember. In exams, we will get that. When you see these words, school of fish appearance or railroad track appearance, they're talking about Haemophilus dacrii and Shankride. So it's an important clue. The incubation period is like four to 10 days. Infection with Haemophilus decrea leads to an erythematous papule that rapidly evolves into a pustule, which erodes into an ulcer. Infected persons, usually they get one ulcer. And the lesions, they are almost always confined to the genital area and its draining lymph nodes. A typical Shankride ulcer is about like two centimeters in diameter. And the size is variable, especially in HIV infected patients. The ulcer is painful and has an erythematous base. That's an important clinical guide. It's a painful ulcer. Please remember that. It has borders which are clearly demarcated. And the base of the ulcer is usually covered by a gray or yellow purulent exudate and it bleeds when scraped. The most common sites for Shankride in men are corona and glans penis and women. They are like uh, labia and vaginal enteritis and perianal areas. So it's basically a genital ulcer. It may go undiagnosed. What about diagnosis? I usually go by clinical. Like if you see a painful ulcer, then you take a little bit of the scraping and send for culture. We have like a nucleic acid amplification test today. And they are very good in diagnosing this disease. But remember, it's a painful genital ulcer. So, rule out other things like syphilis and uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia and herpes and all those things. So, rule out this, do a clinical diagnosis and treat it. There are good medications these days to treat this problem. Most often you use azithromycin. Azithromycin just one gram. Then ceftriaxone or I would say or because you don't have to use both. Ceftriaxone or azithromycin. Ceftriaxone you give like 250 milligrams intramuscularly. They did a study in Kenya in Africa where they used both azithromycin 1 gram and ceftriaxone 250 milligrams and they had almost like 90 percent cure rates even in south africa they did this and azithromycin gave like 89 percent cure rates so azithromycin are ceftriaxone there are alternative drugs like ciprofloxacin 250 milligrams orally twice a day for three, three days or you can also use erythromycin 250 milligrams three times a day for seven days. But erythromycin when you use that like in a, uh, there is side effect like a sudden cardiac death due to QT prolongation. So be careful when you use erythromycin because you need to see the side effects of erythromycin. So that's about hemophilus decrea. I hope you get some points out of that. Thank you very much.